So the situation here along the road, very clear cut. South end in the yellow, kicking from right to left. Have to win to be assured of direct promotion to the third division. They could obviously get a place in the playoffs. But uh, Peterborough in blue have to win to get a place in the playoffs themselves. So tremendous pressure on both sides in real summer heat here. Something not conducive to football, but pretty good for watching. And uh, Southend coming forward early on, but Peterborough have shown the best aggression so far. And they're led out here by Worrell Sterling. Sterling getting a crossover. A chance here for Osborne. Good effort by Andy Edwards. Edwards defending well, and Hine pulls it back to Worrell Sterling. Great trouble here for Southend. It's Edwards to get it away again. And Austin is in there battling. They're all back there, and Austin gets it away, but not cleanly away. They're keeping them at arm's length as uh, Noel Luke tries to fire one in, and the danger is over. Well, Southend uh, certainly defended well there. They've got uh, young fullbacks, they've got experience, of course, with Clark uh, in the centre alongside Young and the Edwards. So it's going to be a lot of responsibility for uh, Paul Clark, but a lot of pressure on the youngsters at the back. Still, it's Peterborough coming forward in the early moments. Good flick on. Paul Clark policing the Peterborough forward across. Riley can't get to him, and Clark, the captain, strikes at exactly the right moment. Trying them for Peterborough. Good, quick tackling. They're all pulling back. supporters behind this goal almost 2,000 have come to cheer their side on and that support will be very very necessary during the course of this cup tie battle Southend still not able to get it away cleanly Paul Clark sold a bit of a dummy there and it's Austin policing it back and knocks it nicely into the arms of Paul Sanson what a cracking season it's been for Tansk but he's got to be tested here Benjamin leaping well, but beaten by Robinson. Austin to Dave Martin, not an easy one for him, doesn't control it quite neatly enough, and as you expect it, bit the tackling is fast and furious. Dean Austin again, recent acquisition from St Albans, looked very impressive. Mick Halsall gets one away, again the elbows are flying a bit, and uh, another free kick given. Nicely away by Austin once more. No problems there for Southend. Offside. Way by Martin Ling operating on the left hand side. He'll be uh, pulling back in the midfield early on with Benjamin and David Crown up front. But not much service for them so far as Peterborough come forward in numbers. Goalkeeper Paul Crichton. Two or three goalkeepers at Peterborough this season. The way again by Ling, but it's a uh, hard one for Benjamin. Benjamin, former uh, Peterborough player, of course, having a fairly uh, lively reception here. And Keith Oakes, penalised by referee Mike Reed, and spoken to him as well. Clearly, it's going to be a difficult game for the referee as well as the players. Justin Edinburgh waiting to take the free kick. Edinburgh back from his loan spell to Spurs, who were impressed by his fullback play, but Southend delighted to have him back at this crucial moment. Up goes uh, Dave Martin, beaten by Halsall, hooked on down the middle to Riley, but good work, good experience work in the centre of defence. Here's uh, Edinburgh again. Good long ball to Benjamin. Crown marked tight. Turning away. Finding Austin. Looking for that through ball again. Almost picking up Benjamin. And suddenly it's South End on the attack. And what a shot though to test goalkeeper Crichton. 
Well, it's interesting to see how uh, Austin is getting balls accurately forward, and so is Edinburgh from both fullback positions picking out the front men. And that's going to be important to Southend as Martin sweeps up and gives uh, Paul Sansom a little bit more work. No look, but the challenge came in so fast he wasn't able to control it and find a cut off. Big, big shout from Paul Clark from the centre there, instructing Edinburgh what to do. That sort of uh, leadership, very important on a day like this. Benjamin leaping well, neatly forward. But offside there, important to get the ball in front of uh, David Crown, who's lost a little bit of uh, goal scoring form, but it's so important to Southend here. Chance for Peter Barrett, well blocked by Clark and coolly put back. Southend shaping up well in the centre of defence. Martin is coming back to get some early tackles in, but uh, Edwards and Clark between them are doing a great job. It looked like a free kick. The old hand uh, Benjamin doing a bit of leaning and uh, the Peterborough defender, Robinson, falling into the trap. Clark chipping one forward, Benjamin's onto it, and a good effort. Two experienced players there, uh, exploiting lack of concentration by Peterborough. Nice for the play. Well played by Clark. Forward by Luke. Not too many players. Missing out midfield where Ling, Smith and Butler are working hard for Southend but finding it hard to get uh, possession but that's a real, real tough challenge by Peter Butler. Typical Butler. Spoken to by the referee, both uh, players, but uh, you're sure to see uh, Peter Butler in the thick of any action. Free kick from Austin, not quite able to find a man on the far post, but Peterborough didn't look too happy with the ball in the air. So roll back by Dave Robinson to Paul Crichton and uh, Peterborough come forward again. Not an easy one to clear for the South End captain, but uh, South End throw, just in Edinburgh, it's a good long one to Benjamin, lovely control, here comes Crown, can he get past his man, well Luke gets a tackle in, Oakes is in there too, David Crown, but things are beginning to shape up for Southend up front. One or two doubts creeping into the Peterborough defence. Good lead by Edinburgh. Ling is in there too, out to Austin. Neat the first time forward. Benjamin a flick on. Robinson stops it, Crosby has it, but Benjamin's tackle gives it to David Crown, he shoots, and it's a goal! A surprise goal perhaps, a mistake by the goalkeeper, but David Crown has given Southend a very vital lead after 15 minutes. Good work by Southend, bit of an error by the Peterborough goalkeeper, but a brilliant start. 
and warmly received by the travelling South End supporters. David Crown on target again after that lean spell, but all is forgiven and it'll give them a chance to compose themselves at the back. It'll put even more pressure on Peterborough. So South End's away form hasn't been all that sparkling uh, in 1990, but that's certainly very encouraging. Robinson, Crown turns him and shoots and scores. David Crown does it again, this time with his right foot. A brilliant first time ball forward by Austin and neat play by David Crown. South End absolutely delighted. They're two up with 21 minutes gone. Well 
Peterborough's last big home game was against Cambridge United when they had a crowd of over 9,000 and they failed to come up with the goods then. Now they're two down on an occasion which is even more important than that local derby. And South End have everything going for them and the man wearing the crown at the moment is obviously South End's number nine. gets the ball inside now then can uh, no Luke get onto this one and numbers of players brought back by South End it's very impressive sometimes Peterborough are given too much space outside on on the edge of the box but when it comes to shooting South End are there with the tackle and they're winning again pretty well everything in the air Edwards that time Trying to be held back on. Not the same cohesion up front for Peter as there is for South End. Osborne and uh, Riley can't really get it together and they haven't really had the same sort of service. Hine humping one in. Difficult one for Sansom in the sun. But good play by the fullback Austin. He couldn't get the header in but he made sure nobody else did. So it's a free kick outside the box. Naturally, all the South End players coming back. The council could be the man. Let's it go. And the shot when it did come in wasn't worth a light. of the battles. On the ground up front at the moment is Peter are looking a little, a little bit sharp.
for the central defender Robinson and he only does very well isn't good enough when Clark's leaning on you. Two in here, that's quite something. That's brought down to Mick Halsall, a very dangerous player, the Peterborough captain. Wide to Noel Luke. Inside Edinburgh, this is a good move for Peterborough. High and humps it up. And Austin's clearance, not a good one by any means. And Halsall puts it over the top. by Oaks South End not quite so tidy at the moment and it's Peterborough who are coming more into the game Southend, it's a free kick to Peterborough. Goalkeeper Sansom comes out, judges it perfectly. And really, so far, he hasn't had a save to make. Anxiety when they're chasing the ball and it's in front of David Crown. Referee and the Peterborough supporters not happy with that challenge on the goalkeeper. Offside again. It's a little bit spasmodic and erratic. Referee having a word with Crown but going for a bouncing ball. Benjamin backing into his man. Uh, a lot of experience in that move. Good deep ball for Benjamin again. But the referee didn't like the challenge. Another free kick. And a pretty poor one too. Now Mark Lawrence and the Peterborough manager with his Liverpool background will be most unhappy with these free kick situations that Peterborough are wasting but there's much more penetration from Peterborough down the middle with Osborne and David Riley really giving Southend quite a hard time, there's another free kick there and the council I think having a quick word with the referee about the way things are developing for them this time it is not well taken the ball perfectly placed Benjamin can't get there and the attempted shot of an awkward bouncing ball wasn't good enough Martin calling for it getting it but then wasting it way by Ling but the cohesion of South End midfield and front players has broken down for the moment but they hold a very very valuable 2-0 lead now it's a good piece of play by Austin Benjamin getting over there back past the only option this out really well, this is fine football got support on the right and down the middle but the ball was wasted in the end it was a beautiful move
Sansom again judges it perfectly. That's exactly the sort of display Southend need in this critical situation. Despite the fact that they're leading by 2-0, it could wobble this one. Martin in there, high and hard. And the referee, I think quite rightly, saying that the offence was against Peterborough. Clark again chipping one forward, finding Benjamin, backing onto his man. The referee doesn't like it. Well, I think Dave Webb would like to get his uh, team now into the dressing room to tighten one or two things up in midfield. The defence have certainly done well in the first 15 minutes of the game. Then David Crown struck twice. But Peterborough are getting back into the contest. And the South End manager, I'm sure, can make an impression on the way the side is playing. Before the match, he said, you've got 90 minutes now to make the value of all that hard running and hard work show throughout the season. Just get out there and do it. The object of the exercise, of course, is to take the pressure off them, not put it on them. It certainly succeeded in the first half hour, but things are not looking quite so impressive for them at the moment. As Butterworth tries to chip one in, indeed, he went straight for the throat, and that was only just over the top. Benjamin penalised, indeed, more than that, Benjamin is going to be booked. Again, he was holding off his man. The referee, this time, taking more serious action. But what a difference Ian Benjamin has made to Southend since uh, he came from Exeter. Only really been at Roots Hall five minutes. But uh, despite the yellow card there, he certainly will have played a part in this march to what everybody hopes is promotion to the third division. And he's in there battling. tries to lay it off, Benjamin had already gone with it just to put it into the path of fullback Phil Crosby, Crosby down the line for Osborne to chase well cut out by Paul Clark and Peter Butler protesting that he was pushed off there and I think he was probably right but I wouldn't say the referee was getting 10 out of 10 from either side here Sansom out for the punch couldn't quite get to the ball to catch it wise decision pursued by Benjamin there's a lot more urgency now in the Peterborough play but they've still really got to get a testing shot against uh, Paul Sansom despite the fact that they're working very hard Hyde is going for this one and Sansom is out to snap it up very confidently Southend supporters at the other end will have plenty to talk about and plenty to look forward to next season. But a long way to go in this game yet before they can really do some celebrating. Good pressure from Southend in midfield, forcing the ball back again. They're working very, very hard. Crosby getting it forward, but not good enough. Butler's all over. Keeper does it just right. Crosby again. Well, he's getting the ball on that left hand flank and punching it down that line a lot, but with Butler and Smith working so hard and Austin playing well on that right flank, this is not an area in which uh, Peterborough are making a lot of progress. That's a bit of a rash. Dave Martin and uh, Butler couldn't possibly get hold of that one. Now it's Crosby again with that left foot that's 
trying to pick out the front men. Edwards is in there marking, but there's been an infringement farther out of the penalty area. Referee uh, wants to bring the ball back farther, I thought. But a whole series of free kicks for Peterborough in the last period of this first half. None of which so far have tested South End goalkeeper Paul Sansom. Benjamin, the touch, Clark puts it over, it's a corner. It's going to be taken by Mick Housel, the in swinger, and it's a good one. Edwards is in there well. And the shot by Housel as he came across, having taken the corner, was not a particularly good one. So, although Peterborough have looked more lively in the last few minutes, it's been a cracking first half for South End as the whistle goes for the half-time break. Two goals from David Crown. They lead by two goals to nil. Blues News keeps you up to date and it's free to members at home games. So get your copy at the turnstile throughout the season. Visit the Blues Club shop for all your Southend United items. New lines are always available. Clothes or clocks, plaques or programmes, they're all there waiting for you. Call in and browse round or call us on 435 067. We're just off Victoria Avenue on the main car park entrance. 0839 That's the new number to dial daily for news and views of the Blues. It's your very own Blues Soccer Line. Just to reiterate the situation here with Southend leading by two goals to nil, they look on course to return to the third division. A lot of people have uh, thought, of course, that they should never have come down from the third division last season, but that's all past history. They've certainly played some tremendously entertaining football during the course of this campaign, but they've caused hearts to flutter. Uh, defeat by Aylesbury in the FA Cup. You could never quite tell what they were going to do next. Sometimes they were world beaters, as they showed against the Spurs. Sometimes they looked as if they were heading for the Vauxhall Conference. But here, they seem to be heading for the third division, if they can keep their cool on a very, very tough, hot day. As for Peterborough, well, their fate no longer seems to be in their own hands. At South End are going to have to do something quite daft to allow them into the playoffs. But we saw goalkeeper Paul Crichton let a goal through in the 15th minute, that shot from David Crown, it could all change. So it's no look for Peterborough up to David Riley, trying to get it through to Halsall, who's playing farther forward at the beginning of this second half, but uh, over the top it goes. So much at stake. Forward by 
away, Edinburgh away by Robinson, no Luke under pressure. And the South End supporters behind the goal to our right. Rather enjoyed that one. Justin Edinburgh. Benjamin of Thicke in, it's a good ball. And it's away by Keith Oakes. Dave Martin working very, very hard in midfield. Not always getting clean possession. But preventing Peterborough from getting clean possession themselves. And in the early stages of the second half, it's so important for them to keep that concentration and keep that 2 0 lead. scores. Mick Halsall for Peterborough. Six minutes into the second half. It's 2-1 and Southend have been pulled right back. Well, this is exactly what Southend didn't want. They were clearly the better side in the first half. Peterborough were severely spoken to, I'm sure, by Mark Lawrenson at half-time. Mick Halsall, the captain, has been pushed farther forward and they've struck and it's now 2-1. And Peterborough with the chance now of a playoff position will give it absolutely everything in this searing heat. Well, that's Peter Butler hurt along with Gary Butterworth. The news from the dressing room is that fullback Dean Austin has had stitches in an eye wound, so they're a little bit in the war, Southend, as Peterborough make a substitution. Off comes Phil Crosby, on comes Martin Moore. Benjamin in there defending. Anywhere at this stage, but preferably to a Southend player. Edinburgh 
first throw. And in goes the foot of Keith Oakes. So it's a corner and a welcome one to South End, particularly with their ability in the air. Chance again for Martin Ling. Crown. It's not a bad ball. Osborne makes a bit of a mess of it. But nicely brought down in the end by Gary Butterworth. He gets a return from Crichton. And Peterborough looking a much better side. Now Households put them back into the game. But David Riley not looking too good there. Austin made it difficult for him though. Benjamin flicking it again. Good ball wide. Martin Ling not quite able to retrieve it. No loot to Worrell Sterling. Martin looked as if he was fouled there by Osborne. Hanged away by Austin. Luke giving the instructions. Osborne on and out. at stake this is a very important period of the game might not be all that entertaining but things could turn either way at the moment well in there by Butterworth whacking a couple of players in the process Peterborough and Southend drew North North uh, back in November when probably the most memorable moment, certainly the worst one, was when young Spencer Pryor was injured and subsequently the to have broken his leg. Spencer Pryor among the spectators here. Uh, I don't know whether that was a cross or a shot from Moore, the substitute on that left side, but Sansom had it covered. supporters don't like it, South End supporters certainly do, and full evidence there of the way South End are willing to work. Things aren't going 100% for them at the moment, but with so much at stake, and with the words of their manager, Dave Webb, behind them, give it absolutely everything, you can't waste the season now by getting it wrong at this stage. This is exactly what they're doing, and they need to have their concentration at the very highest mark at this particular moment. Things are looking pretty good. Edinburgh's long one, Benjamin with a flick. That was very close and uh, goalkeeper Crichton were lucky to get that one straight into his arms. Well, an infringement there. Gary Butterworth again the long one forward Edwards doing a good job Household flicking it in away by Paul Clark a lucky bounce on this green but hard London Road pitch now things are looking better here for Peterborough nicely worked the old give and go situation 
Gary Butterworth here seems to be playing more in the left back position with uh, Moore, the number 12, on midfield and up front. That's a tough tackle on Peter Butler, but he rides it well. Good play. Strong, aggressive, and useful ball. Dave Martin. Mikelzel's after him. He's gone. by Edinburgh to Benjamin this is neat play by Southend Crown turning it they're on to him like a pack of wolves now what about the pace of Warrell Sterling against Cole Clark the flag goes up so you know exactly what the verdict there is and the hand goes to the pocket of the referee Another booking. Well won by Clark Lowe to show what it's all about. Paul Smith and Ling and Butler are working very, very hard in midfield. Certainly uh, Butler and Paul Smith getting a lot of possession now but the openings are not coming for either side the longer it goes on of course the more pressure will be on Peterborough draws no good to them now then Hassel Osborne Sterling he's in no he's not and Edinburgh pushed him just wide enough to make the cross a difficult one and in the end an impossible one for one moment it looked ominous Paul Clark looks uh, as if he's got a hamstring problem that slows the thing up that's not always easy for forwards another substitution for Peterborough off goes Mark Hine on comes Darren Watkins hard one for Butler Paul Smith goes in again Butler and Smith again in the thick of things an infringement Space for Butterworth, too much space. Well, a header from Halsall from outside of the area that didn't test anybody. Well, it seems to be getting hotter by the minute here. Perhaps it's the pressure. The sun's got a little bit to do with it, I suppose. But these are grueling conditions. Still, Southend hanging on to that 2-1 lead. Edinburgh wins. Sterling gets down the right. Edinburgh gets at him. Appeals from both sides. The referee says it's a corner. Mick Household's kick. They're all in there battling. Osborne gets up there and a stab from Robinson. A great save by Paul Sansom. He couldn't have seen that one. The central defender just knocked at that ball as it dropped to him and the goalkeeper was down on it like a flash. Still 2-1. Played by Bellabert. He's enjoying that uh, left-back position. Nicely tied it up by young Edwards. Growing in maturity by the minute. Another free kick. Again, Peterborough get the decision. No 
look forward, but again he was forced to do it hastily by the fact that he is being pursued by David Crown. And I don't think they're too happy uh, the back here either. And more surely that I'm going to go He did. Again, because he was under pressure. Benjamin and Osborne. Whistle is gone. Free kick. Just what Southend want. Dean Austin with the ball. He really does kick a beautiful clean ball. And Dave Martin's in there. That's a good header. But straight at goalkeeper Crichton. And an infringement again by Martin, obviously. Something I certainly didn't spot. And I wouldn't have thought Dave Martin would have agreed with it. There's that handball by Dave Robinson. Seems to get away with it for the moment. Southend looking uh, very aggressive here in a very important area. And they get another decision. So after a somewhat disappointing start to the second half for them and their supporters, they're looking more confident. They're regaining their composure. Edinburgh gets ahead uh, to that one. It's picked up by Noel Luke as Southend regroup at the back. They're winning most of the battles in the air. And they pretty well won that one. Not very clear though. And a little bit undecided as to what to do there. Not really attacking the ball and then bringing the Peterborough player down and conceding a free kick. So powerful piece of play by uh, Edwards. Well, this is looking better for Southend because they're going for up and unders, but can they stop Riley and Osborne? And Oaks, who's up there in an attacking position. Benjamin puts one forward to Crown. He lays it aside, and they're all steaming forward now with Paul Smith in possession. Good cross. Too deep. And it comes to nothing. Osborne knocks it down for Warrell Sterling, but with everyone working hard, that came to nothing. Benjamin the flick on, nice ball. David Crown, right foot. Well, he struck the second goal with his right foot and struck it very well. That one, not so good. But two goals uh, out of four shots, that's not a bad average. Now it's Peterborough on the assault. There's a cracking cross of Warrell Sterling's in there and somehow Osborne was blocked on the line. And one occasion where Paul Sansom wasn't the hero. He looked as if he was isolated there, but the cross and the shot blocked by weight of numbers Peterborough a little, a little bit unlucky not to be level and Butterworth winning that one against David Crown square, Crown is right up front and the chase is on and it's a good tackle well, Keith Oakes wanted an infringement there but the referee's not going to give it to him the marking in this heat not surprisingly has got a little bit looser so is some of the passing so concentration and hard work are possibly going to decide this day yet Again, Southend do well to get it clear. Benjamin does very well to bring it down. Crown, Benjamin races away into the centre of the field. 
Crown on the left foot and a good shot well worked by David Crown looking back to his old sharpness Waddle Sterling forward it's a chase by Halsall and couldn't get it well won by Robinson Luke Luke's ball forward Osborne a good break Martin's challenge and then away comes Dean Austin who's looked a very impressive player here Crown wants support and that's a long optimistic ball forward Peter Butler's done some uh, running but that was really expecting far too much Edinburgh but uh, the throw is given Luke in possession Morrell Sterling looking for Osborne and a chance here for Riley is blocked by the bulk and the good positioning of Paul Clark it's a corner it could have been far worse and it's noticeable how Clark and Edwards have been joined in the middle for winning those balls in the air by Austin Moore surely could have had a decent shot there but the whole thing came to nothing Sanson getting the ball away it's so important to South End that they keep grafting away in midfield as they've done for so much of this season that scoreline will be welcomed by a great night out in South End but Peterborough well capable of changing it. They're certainly getting possession on the flanks. Austin closing down more well here. With the support for him from behind from Butterworth. Good ball forward. Out comes Sansom. And certainly some uh, pushing there. And the referee quite rightly blows for an infringement. It's a free kick to South End and a moment or two of relief. Good strong header by Robinson in pursuit. Clark against uh, David Riley. Peterborough supporters protesting but Clark has got the experience and Riley's not going to get by him Benjamin wins it well but can anybody else pick it up feels for handball there the referee says no fear keep going and it's very very hard for them to keep going in this sort of heat Inevitably, there will be more spaces, and there's more space here for David Crown. Can he take Robinson on and have a go? Crown with a chance, and he's brought down. It must be a penalty. No, referee says nothing doing. Well, South End will talk about that if the result doesn't go for them here. But meanwhile, they need everything at the back as Peterborough come forward once again. Halsall couldn't get it. And great piece of battling by South End to regain possession and put Benjamin in and now it's Crown once more Luke coming back to get at him and you can see how the occasion and the summer heat has taken its toll Benjamin he's still going should be one of the freshest people on the field but that was a tired effort from the substitute continual checking of watches now by South End supporters and I dare say Dave Webb and company on the bench it's been a hard hard season for them it was a surprise that they came down into the third division 
they've had to readjust it looked all plain sailing at the beginning of the season then they've had to change things they've had injuries and not by any means at full strength here they've had to introduce young players when perhaps they'd like to have had a little bit more time but dumped into the furnace of the fourth division they've done so well and Paul Smith the young lad going off is certainly one of those who's made an impression this season he's replaced by Peter Daly but that means it's 85 minutes on the clock five minutes left to hang on to this 2-1 lead Luke again South End showing that they know how to defend and they can win most balls in the air but they need plenty of people certainly been a feature that the two young fullbacks have been impressive Edwards and Clark have done a great job in the middle but the players in the engine room have worked so hard not always in a constructive way but they've stopped Peterborough doing the things they want to do through again Crown surely must make one of these uh, opportunities pay and uh, trying to knock it back into the path of Ling couldn't quite get there well you know where the singing is coming from with South End leading by two goals to one Looking for that long one for Benjamin. Came close to finding him too. Might well have been offside though. And it's Peterborough who are looking the more tired of the two sides. Peterborough who had to win this game to get into the playoffs. Started badly. Had a couple of good spells. But I think they've come across the side with more experience and more appetite for a very serious occasion like this one. And they've certainly got players like... Uh, Peter Butler, South End, who have run so well the whole of the game. Dave Martin has worked hard too. Crown has had those two vital goals and two or three opportunities and has really worried the Peterborough defence throughout this game. Benjamin, the former Peterborough player, has looked very, very confident in possession. And now they're playing with them a little bit at the back here. Dean Austin with a throw to Benjamin. Any minute now there's going to be a lot of noise from the South End supporters behind that goal even more noise than we're getting at the moment McHousel just disputing that decision he must know that the situation is nearly lost for them as the linesman checks his watch Austin rolls a lovely ball into Benjamin Knocks it back to Dave Martin. Uh, they're enjoying themselves at the moment, except for the linesman's offside flag. Austin's got to get back. It would be uh, silly to be rash at this moment and look for goals when 2-1 will be enough. Anywhere will do. Robinson has it obviously not committing too many players forward but leading by two goals to one they've had a couple of opportunities they should certainly have had a penalty it's looking pretty good for them free kick though for Peterborough to Mick Halsall Worrell Sterling Halsall gets forward Riley Sterling looking for the deep cross for Osborne but Defender Oaks is in there, Halsall is competing and Sansom does a great job and Sansom's in there again. Brilliant play by the South End goalkeeper. In the closing minutes it looked as if Peterborough were going to snatch that equaliser. And now it's South End with Benjamin against Robinson on the break at this end. Well, South End aren't too worried about that. It's 
the activity at the other end they're more concerned about when Sansom saved from Halsall, the feet of Osborne, and then uh, did it a Frank Bruno act to get the ball out of the area. in a defensive situation Keith Oakes is in there with Riley, Riley turns but is well wide of the target Dave Webb and company very very anxious that uh, referee Mike Reed shouldn't play too much injury time but it seems to be uh, adding up here as Crown goes for the kill not quite got the pace after a very, very hard game to get away from the defender. Cleanly back to Sansom. As the injury time mounts up here, is that the final whistle? No, it isn't. It's a free kick. But the longer the game goes on now, although the pace drops a little bit, it's Southend who are looking the more assured side and Peterborough who are looking frankly fairly exhausted physically and mentally they're running out of ideas frankly Peter Butler just checking just how much injury time referee Mike Reed is going to allow and there is the final whistle and a triumph for Southend they're back in the third division and nice to see Spencer Pryor out there to enjoy the celebrations of the moment They've won this game by two goals to one, but more importantly, they're out of the fourth division, they're back into the higher grade, and over the course of the season, there's no denying that they deserve it. This was always going to be a very tough one, but two goals from David Crown early in the first half was exactly what the doctor ordered, certainly what Dave Webb wanted after Dave Crown had had something of a lean spell in the last few games or so, but he came up trumps when the occasion demanded it, as indeed did all the South End players. A lot of heroes here, Andy Edwards and Paul Clark at the back, the two young fullbacks, Austin and Edinburgh, but how well they worked in midfield, and the two front players, Benjamin and Crown, with support from Martin Ling, caused problems for Peterborough. So this is a great occasion for South End, away from home, to clinch that vital of promotion success is really a test of character as much as skill and there's a great deal now to look forward to in the coming years in a higher division.